Hey folks, Aaron Salisbury here with GPI. With me is uh, Nathan Moore and the infamous Ryan Stevens. Uh, we're going to do a quick demonstration today on fly cutting uh, valve release and pistons. It helps us make more power on LS motors by being able to uh, reduce the size of the combustion chamber and increase compression ratio. But it seems to be a little intimidating to our customers, so we thought we'd try to uh, take this opportunity to alleviate a little bit of that stress and show you just how easy it is. Ryan? All right. What we've got here is a 2014 L99. Um, we're doing our SS4 VVT cam, our ported LS3 uh, casting. Uh, we milled 50 thousandths, uh, running a 40 thousandths thick chromatic casting. We need to run roughly about an 80 thousandths valve relief, but we're going to go ahead and, and set this thing up to cut 90, 95. Um, we've got our head here. We use a, a test head here in the shop. We've got our Lindy tool that's available through uh, Lindy uh, or GPI. And uh, no fear LS3 guys, uh, we know you don't have exhaust valve reliefs and they have an exhaust valve cutter for you guys too. So, I'm gonna throw this thing on there. We've got our piston zeroed out at top dead center, cylinder number two. Now I notice you've got some tape on here, Ryan. Is that uh, obviously to keep from getting cuttings in your engine? Well, you know, we just kind of wanted to make it look good for the video and <laughs> probably probably keep a little, little uh, aluminum out of the engine as well. Uh, definitely want to tape it up good. Uh, snug this thing down. You don't have to have a head gasket on there. So, we've got some clearance. We're going to uh, go ahead and get this thing set up. 90,000 some feeder gauges right here. You're gonna get in here, you want, you want to be very, very careful. The accuracy of your cut is gonna completely depend on how well you set it up. So, try to get your gauges in here where you're not you know, at an angle or it slides off the guide, on top of the guide and slide the collar down. Make sure the cutter is contacting the piston, which it is. Hold the gauge in, or the, the guide, feeder gauges in and snug the collar down. It's a very small Allen, so be careful with this thing. You don't want to round it out. So we have approximately 90 thousandths we're going to cut right there. You do not want to bear down very hard on this drill put a little downward pressure but what will happen if you push too hard and this this contacts the guide where normally stop cutting that guide can slide up this and well it can get ugly That's the sound of goodness. So we like to verify our cut with a caliper in case you need to touch the cut up some. Sometimes they may wind up a little, little more shallow than you intended, so you may have to go in there. 95 thousandths. Check it three or four times. Make you know, try to make sure you're in the deepest spot on the cut.
there we have it. 88, 88 to 95 thousandths is what I measured through there. If you end up shallow, if I ended up at 75 thousandths, then you'd simply put the head back on, put another 10 or 15 thousandths, whatever you need to on feeder gauge, set the collar back up, and cut that little amount again. I recheck it, um, move on to the next one. And you can probably expect to take 45 minutes or so on the uh, engine stand. If you do it in chassis, probably double that time, about an hour and a half or so. Uh, really not that bad to do. Don't be intimidated. It, it's certainly not gonna have any negative you know, impact on the balance of the rotating assembly like some people think. That's very, very little material. So, I hope that's helpful and if you have any questions, and the other concern is the, the, the piston head thickness. We actually drilled one of those and found that that was over 300,000 stick in that yep, particular just, location. Just over 300,000 at the, at the thinnest spot. And there may be some variance there, but still, I mean. What's the deepest valve relief you ever cut, Ryan, in a stock piston? That's classified. <laughs> <laughs> Deep, deeper than 90, I can tell you that. All right. uh, where we're cutting this, this material, a lot of this is right by the pin uh, boss, which is very, very thick right there. Um, 90 to 100 thousandths is nothing to worry about. Excellent. All. all right, Ryan, thank you. Thanks.